Hello, your goals for today are to understand rules and evaluate expressions. First thing we need to do is to study some new words. So our first vocabulary is variable. A variable is a symbol for a number. Usually a letter like X or Y, but you can use any letter in the alphabet. For example, we have C plus 4 equals 8. C is your variable. 4 minus A equals negative 12. A is the variable. 5T, and whenever you don't see an operator or a symbol in between, between a number and your variable, this is a multiplication operation. So 5 times T equals 45. T is the variable. Second vocabulary is constant. A constant is a number. So for C plus 4 equals 8, 4 and 8 are constants. 4 minus A equals negative, negative 12. 4 and negative 12 are constants. 5T equals 45. 45 is the constant. The next vocabulary is called coefficient, and the coefficient is the number next to a variable. Okay, so for 5t equals 45, 5 is the coefficient. It's the number next to your variable. You have 105 minus 7x, negative 7 is your coefficient, or the coefficient. 72 equals 9y or 9 times y, 9 is the coefficient. Okay. Now, let's move on to equation. An equation has arithmetic numbers or constant. It also has variable. It has, it should contain operation symbol like the plus sign, the minus sign, time sign or multiplication symbol or division symbol. An equation must have the equal symbol as well. Okay, so for example, you have 9 plus n equals 0. You have a constant, an operation symbol, which is a plus sign, a variable, the equal symbol, and another constant, which is 0. Another example of an equation is m minus 34 equals 8. m is your variable, minus is your operation symbol, 34 is a constant, and then you have the equal symbol, and then 8. Another example, negative 56h or negative 56 times h equals negative 7. This is an example of an equation. Okay. An equation does not necessarily have to have a variable. A simple 9 plus 3 equals 12 is also an equation. Okay. Now, let's have another example. P divided by 6 is equal 6. Remember that whenever you see a fraction, a fraction is also division. Next one, which is called expression. An expression is similar to equation, but there's a difference. Okay. Expression also contains arithmetic numbers or constants. It also has a variable. It also, it also has operation symbol. It could be plus, minus, multiplication symbol, division symbol. But this is the difference. An expression does not contain an equal symbol. So an example of an expression is 9 plus n, m minus 4, negative 56 times h or negative 56h, and p over 6 or p divided by 6. So all these expressions that you see, they do not have equal symbol. So... An expression is not an equation because it does not have an equal sign. But there are two types of expressions. 
The first type is called numerical expression because it only contains numbers or constants and the operation symbol. The second one is called algebraic expression because it contains variable. So an example here, 3 times x or 3x plus 10. This is an example of algebraic expression. Okay. Now, to continue with our lesson, we are now going to evaluate an algebraic expression. So we're going to concentrate in evaluating algebraic expressions. That means that your ex expression will contain variables. We evaluate algebraic expressions by substituting numbers or values in for your variables. So, for example, m is equal to, we are saying that m is the same, is the same as 2, or m, the value of m is 2. m is the same as, as 2. So for 6 plus m, 6 plus, we know that m is 2, so you just substitute or replace m by 2. So here we go, 6 and then replace m by 2, so 6 plus 2 is 8. Okay. Another example, r is equal to 3, so r is 3, the value of r is 3, r is the same as 3. So for algebraic expression, 7 plus 3, we substitute the value of, of 3 to r. So 7 plus r becomes 7 plus 3. So the expression 7 plus r is equal to 10. At the beginning of the lesson, we said that it's also important that in this lesson, you understand the, the rules, Algeb algebraic expressions are your rules so we follow the algebraic expression 7 plus r and so 7 plus r is the rule okay so i'm now going to use the word rule okay for algebraic expression you can also call your algebraic expression as a variable expression but most of the time you will hear me say algebraic expression as opposed to variable expression so evaluate the variable expression when n is 6. So we're saying now that n is equal to 6. n is 6. The value of n is 6. Okay. Our algebraic expression or rule is n plus 8. So we can replace or substitute n by 6. So we are solving it by substitution. So n is 6, so n plus 8 is going to be 6 plus 8, which is equal to 14. And the second one, n minus 2, let's replace n by 6. So 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. So our rule here that we are following is n minus 2. And then we change or substitute the value of n by the given value 6. Okay. What if it's 3n without the operator in the middle or no symbol in the middle means multiplication. So replacing n by 6, it's 3 times 6. Your rule or the variable expression or algebraic expression is equal to 18. n written like a fraction, this algebraic expression or your rule is written like a fraction. It means it's division. So n is your dividend and 6 is your divisor. So replace n by 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1. Okay, evaluate. Let's evaluate more algebraic expression. This time n is equal to 8. So we replace n down here, down below by 8. So 56 divided by 8. 56 divided by 8 is 7. Okay, in here, let's replace n or substitute n by 8. 20 minus 8 is 12. Let's have a summary. Okay, 
for our summary of evaluating algebraic expression or evaluating given algebraic rules first replace the variables with the known or given value then second follow the order of operations okay keep this in mind okay given a new given new sets of expressions or rules Okay, if A is equal to 3 and B is equal to 4. Okay, 3A means 3 times A plus B. We're going to replace A by 3, replace B by 4. This is color-coded. So on the next line, we say 3 times 3 because we replaced A by 3 plus we replace or substitute B by 4. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 4 then you have 13. Second example, 2B minus A. Let's replace B by 4 and re let's replace A by 3. Okay, so it's going to be 2B is 2 times 3 or 2B is 2 times 4. Sorry, 2 times 4 minus 3. 2 times 4 is 8 minus 3 is 5. Okay, next. 2ab, you have one coefficient and two variables without operators in between them. So this means this is multiplication. So 2ab, that's going to be 2 times 3 times 4. 2 times 3 is 6 times 4 is 24. Next example, 5 plus ab, 5 plus, no operator here or no operation symbol, so it's multiplication. 5 plus 3 times 4. Using the order of operation, we multiply first. So 3 times 4 is 12. So 5 times 12 is equal to 17. Okay. More. This time we're using x and y. x is 5 and the value of y is 3. So let's replace x by 5 and replace or substitute y by 3. 3x is 3 times 5, okay, and then y is 3 here. So 3 times 5 is 15, divided by 3, you have 5. Remember that we are following order of operations. x squared means you multiply the same number twice. So it's going to be 5 squared plus 3 squared. 5 squared means 5 times 5, which is 25. 3 squared means 3 times 3, so you have 9. 25 plus 9 is 34. Okay, now check your understanding. I expect that you're going to solve the problems here and write them down in your notebook, or you can use Google Document and then you share it with me so I can look at what you're doing. Okay, now remember, this is not the only problem. You have the first set, and then this is the second set. Okay, and then you also have to move on to the third set, which is a problem. Okay, so I expect you will solve all of them. Okay, uh, if you are confused, you can go back and watch this video again. Okay. So... I'll see you grade 6 in the classroom. Okay. Bye.